now let's learn about a concept known as POH. As we know, water will ionize to produce hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. We also know that from one liter of water, we will produce a concentration of one time one times ten to the minus seven molar hydrogen ion and one times ten to the minus seven molar hydroxide ions. From our previous video, we know that pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of hydrogen ion. In other words, in this case, the pH is equal to the negative log of 1 times 10 to the minus 7. So therefore, pH is equal to a value of 7. Likewise, we may also find the pOH, where pOH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of hydroxide. And therefore, in the case of pure water, the negative log of 1 times 10 to the minus 7 is 7. The ionization constant for water is determined as follows. In one liter of water, we will have one times 10 to the minus seven molar hydrogen ion and one times 10 to the minus seven molar hydroxide ion. These concentrations are constant. Therefore, if we now multiply these concentrations, we will generate another constant. And that constant is known as the ionization constant of water, or Kw. The Kw of water is always going to be 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. we found the KW of a sample of water, we can also find the pKW. How did we find pH? pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. How did we find pOH? pOH is equal to the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. So pKW is simply equal to the negative log of the Kw, which is equal to the negative log of 1 times 10 to the minus 14, which gives us a value of 14. Now let's tie pH, pOH, pKW, and KW together in a practice problem. This problem asks, what is the pH and pOH of a 1.0 times 10 to the minus 3 molar solution of HCl? We know that acids ionize to produce hydrogen ion, and an anion. In this case, the anion is chloride. HCl is a strong acid. So if we begin with 0 0.001 molar HCl, then we will also produce 0 0.001 molar H plus and 0 0.001 molar Cl minus. P 
here is equal to the negative log of the H plus concentration. This will give us a pH of 3. pOH is equal to the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. In this case, we can use the Kw formula to determine the actual concentration of hydroxide, where the H plus was found to be 1 times 10 to the minus 3. And Kw being a constant will always be 1 times 10 to the minus 14. Solving for hydroxide, the concentration of hydroxide will be equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 3. This will give us a hydroxide concentration of 1 times 10 to the minus 11 molar. So in this case, the pOH will be equal to the negative log of 1 times 10 to the minus 11. And our pOH will be equal to 11.